Um, next up, this one's looking a bit worse for wear. This is 37 and this is just a black lipstick. Now, this to me is basically everything I could want in a black lipstick. It's black, it's slightly, very slightly glossy, but not not actually shiny, which I think is very nice. Uh, it's not pure matte, it's not um, shimmery, it's not glossy, it's very nice. Uh, it lasts really well, it goes on smooth and creamy, it's opaque in about one stroke, and it, you know, if you want a black lipstick I'd say this was really good uh, buy. Um, for instance, when the MAC Style Black Collection came out, I, I was interested in a couple of their black lipsticks. And then when I tested them, I just didn't see the point. In fact, I think this was better than the MAC Black Knight, um, which was a cream sheen. The, the Mateen one, the I think it was called Midnight Media, wasn't, was, was different because it was really matte. But personally, I didn't see any need to buy either because I have this. Um, okay, next up number 117 which is just called orange and this is basically a really bright yellowy orange i really like this one it's basically um the most orange lipstick i've ever seen so of all the other orange lipsticks i know are uh, tend to go to be red whereas this is just a pure yellowy orange and it's lovely and it's really beautiful on my lips um hopefully with these i'll actually try and get you some lip swatches all done and post them on my blog because I think lipsticks are always better when you can see them on someone's lips. Um, okay, next. Next up, this is number 140. I think this one is called Sparkling Pink. Um, but anyway, they all have the numbers, so if I can tell you the number, you can work it out on, on the website. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Um, so I'll put it here next to the neon. So you can see, not as bright as the neon, more of a baby pink, and it is uh, glossier and... I wouldn't say it's sparkling, but there is a slight hint of shimmer to it. Just a very nice, this is my go-to light pink that I ha own. I think, in fact, it's the only light pink I own. They're mostly fuchsias and uh, neons. And then I have three that I just bought this week. Um, one of them, let's see if I can find it. Is it you? Yeah, one of them is brand new. And this is number 149, and it's green. And it on here. It's just a lovely witchy dark green. Um, I really like it. I haven't actually tried it on my lips yet, um, but it's nice. It's not as opaque as say the black for an unusual colour. Uh, you would need more than one coat to get it fully opaque, but I don't have a problem with it. And I like the fact it's slightly, slightly glossy, slightly has a sheen to it. They also have a blue which I did order but um, was out of stock. Uh, I think these came out in time for Halloween, so maybe they might be a limited edition, but I'm not sure. Uh, next up is number 53. This one is called Coral, and here it is above the orange. It's to me, it is a, it is definitely a coral, but I don't know, maybe I just have a different idea of coral. To me, coral is redder than this. This to me, I would say, is a corally orange. And this one's very nice because it has a kind of icy, uh, metallic-y sheen to it. It's kind of got a white frost. Uh, this is very beautiful. But again, I haven't tried these on my lips yet, so hopefully I'll do some lip swatches in a while so you can see. Um, and finally, I have number 129, which is called um, Palest Lavender. And this apparently is a dupe for Max Lavender Whip. Here it is. Now this is an absolutely beautiful colour. And I have worn this one on my lips and it looks great. The only thing I would say is, out of all of them, this is the most uh, sheer. It's very, very creamy. In fact, if I would say, in fact, it's, if anything, it's overly creamy. It goes kind of slightly on slightly wet. And this can make, when you put your lipstick on it, look slightly patchy. Um, I don't quite know how to, how to explain the patchy, but just parts of it will be more pigmented than others. And you really have to kind of try and get it nice and smooth but it's a stunning colour and for about a fiver it's a really good dupe of lavender whip. I can't show you lavender whip because I don't own it. <laughs> Next um, eye pencils I have three. These actually were a, a deal where if you bought any two Barry M products you got a free cold pencil and I bought six Barry M products so I got three, three pencils. This is number 13 which I think is called something like pale turquoise. Um, let's watch it here. 
and this is a kind of very as well a pale turquoise color a kind of minty bluey turquoise very nice these go on amazingly really creamy and smooth um, and really beautiful unusual colors for lip pencils this is number 24 which is um, is either going to be called just orange or neon orange possibly because it is bright orange there's that one very nice again I actually really like wearing orange eyeshadow and um, eyeliner because I have blue eyes and if you don't know color wheel theory basically blue and orange are opposites on the color wheel which means they complement each other and while you know I think a lot of people will probably think you look strange wearing orange lips um, not lipstick eyeliner I, I like that it brings out the blue in my eyes even if it does look a bit silly but I like playing with bright colors so. and then I have number 23 which is a pink I don't know what the name is um, So it's there. This is a darker pink than, say, my the lip liners are, but still a really nice colour for around the eyes. I personally find pink, um, bright pink eyeshadow and eyeliner very flattering as well, but again, this is all a personal thing. Um, they do do a lot more wearable shades than these ones I have. Um, they do blacks and normal eyeliner shades as well. A whole spectrum of colours. They've got a really great range. It's just I tend to pick um, the really <laughs> the brightest ones. Right, next I have a few of their Dazzle Dusts. Um, now these are great. I don't, I just, it's hard to explain how these are, but these are absolutely great. Um, you get a little pot like this, but I'm going to have to open it really carefully because they are always full to the brim. I don't, I'm going to try and hold the product above, so excuse my messy floor, I mean beneath. Can you see? I hope you can see that. Absolutely comes packed to the top with product, um, which doesn't make it a bit scary to open because I'm always like, oh, is it going to go everywhere? Um, they come in a huge range of colours. I think they, ha they have definitely have over 50. Um, and then they have about 20 more things called um, glitter dusts, which are sort of the same, but chunkier and more glittery. Now, these, some of them are, I've got sheen and some of them are matte. Uh, I think I've only got one matte one myself. Oh, no, two. I've got two matte ones and the rest are shimmery. Okay, so start off. This is number seven. Uh, I can't remember the colours for many of these, so I don't know this one, I'm afraid. Let's do a swatch here. And they're so highly pigmented, you basically only need the tiniest bit. Now this is a light pink with a slightly gold shimmer. I'd say similar to um, Max Expensive Pink or Swish. Very nice. Of course you can foil these as well, um, which make them more intense, but I'll just show you them dry. Uh, this is number 85, which I think is called Neon Pink, but I'm not entirely sure. So here's the pot. And here's the swatch. Just there. Sorry if I'm a bit slow with these, it's just because I want to be careful to make sure the lids are on so it doesn't, um, they don't spill. Uh, this one, the number has come off, I I think this one is called Lime, but I can't be entirely sure, so I'm sorry about that. Nah. Here's it in the pot. This one's a beautiful, almost chartreuse, but a slight more green. This one is either Lime or Grass Green. And this one has Sparkle in it too, which is... Um, this one, in fact, is 